Hi there, YouTubers. Well, it's a nice snowy first snowfall day of the year. Uh, and there's it's melting now, but we had a couple inches overnight. A few months ago, when I had a previous video showing my table loom, which I'm at now, um, I had a request from someone to explain how the levers here are connected to the shafts. And I'm finishing up this project that I started months and months and months ago. Um, I don't use this particular loom at home a lot, uh, just because I prefer working on the floor loom, the louette. So the Ashford loom gets, often it gets set up um, and taken with me someplace because I don't want, it's not exactly portable, it's transportable, it's, it's about the size of a suitcase and it weighs, I don't know, 15 pounds maybe. It's not ridiculously heavy, but it's enough that it's kind of a pain to carry, but it's not like the, the floor loom that weighs 150 pounds. So anyways, what I'm going to do is show you just a little bit of weaving, how I'm flipping the levers, and then I'm going to come in closer and show you how these levers up here are connected to the shafts, which are back here, which are used to actually open the shed, okay? So let's aim this down just a teeny bit. And my first pattern is one, two, four. So we'll go through one, two, four. Then I want three, four, eight. Um, the, what I'm making here is some dinner napkins and the it's, it's a combination of plain weave and Atwater bronze and lace. So, whoops, that's why the number of um, shafts is funny. So, whoops, don't put that one down. So, there was four throws that make the lace part, and then the last two will be two throws of plain weave and that gets me six threads which is one full repeat of the pattern okay so now let's take a look you can see these levers go up and down I'm gonna move the camera a little bit closer and show you how the levers are connected okay so for my own convenience when working with this I've put stickers on them to number them one through eight so shaft one is lever one is here and it works with shaft one the very first shaft here for pulling up the heddles okay so when I pull on that you can see that there's this Texolve string right here that has gone through that and it lifts this shaft. Now the way this works is it's just basically a loop through this little hole in the shaft going from the back out the front and then looped over like that to make a loop. That's the connection. There's no tying, no knots. Okay. So same thing occurs over here with shaft 8. Kind of see that the back shaft is moving back there. Four is right in the middle, you know. Each lever controls one of the shafts. So now I'm going to move the camera around to the back of the loom and show you a little bit more of the connection. Okay, we're in back. So again, here's shaft one, or lever one, and when I pull forward on it, this piece of Texolve string gets pulled away, okay, so that's pulling, I'll, I'm going to grab onto it with my fingers here and just show you how much, by pulling it forward I move that string about four inches down, so I've pulled it about four inches down to the front, that's pulled this four inches, and then what happens 
it moves the shaft up and down. Let's use shaft 8 because it's in the back, you can see it better. If I just pick this up, you can see that this piece of string goes slack because it's controlled, okay? So pulling on the lever pulls the texel of string. Okay, that string goes through these little eyes. Basically they're holes drilled in this piece of wood that have a little plastic eyelet thing put into them. So changing the direction of the pull of the string and then that in turn is tie is looped onto the shaft. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit more on that. I don't know if you can see that or not. Anyways, right here there is maybe we can see it better on that side. I don't know. Um, this piece of wood holds these metal bars that hold the heddles. Here's the heddles. Okay, so when this string gets pulled, of course, it pulls here, and the tech valve is looped over a small screw that is screwed into that wooden bar. So then when I pull on this, it just pulls the strings on both sides and that pulls up on the shaft. Let's take a look over up a little bit again. So I'm going to pull this. So when I pull this first thread, I'm going to hold on to it again that pulls up on that lever on that shaft where it's attached by the thread the screw here and that raised that shaft so I hope that answered the question that I got a couple months ago on how the lever mechanisms on the table loom work to lift the shafts this is a direct tie up loom so there's no floor pedals and I can't push one pedal and have it raise or lower multiple shafts. If I need two shafts raised I have to flip two levers. If I need, well for my tabby I'm using six shafts to be one side of the tabby and two shafts to be the other. So I have to flip a lot of the levers but it also gives me more control. So, again, that's how this process worked. Let's take one more close look at something. And I'm just laying this on top. What I want to show you is I've got another piece of this Texol material. It's a synthetic string. I guess that's the best word I can think of for it and it appears that it's basically a braiding pattern. Now, this is going to be really hard to show, but you can, I don't know if you can see it well enough. Let me grab a little piece of metal to use as a pointer. The way this is braided, there are little knots together. It's, it's effectively two braids, and they're joined about once every centimeter. And I, I'm using centimeter even though I personally and more comfortable with English units like inches. But since this is from Europe, it's done metrically. So let's see if I can open one of these up. Basically what you've got is the two sections and they can be opened like that or they can be shut. So you've got an opening that can occur once every centimeter and you can poke things through that opening like this. Okay, so on the back where I, sh where I said that the way this string was attached to the shaft was that there was a screw into the back of the, uh, into the top of that shaft. And that screw is not screwed in really tight. It leaves about 
this much, a half a centimeter or so, where the screw head isn't right up against the wood. So what you can do is you can take the Texov string and open it up like this. Let's see if I can get this so we can see it. Open it like that and slip that over the head of the screw which I'm currently representing with this little piece of metal. And then you can pull on it by pulling on the string. Okay, that's how the Texov works. And you can adjust the height by using a diff the next opening up or down. There's these little opening these little openings occur about once every centimeter or so. So it's kind of a and it, it this stuff is stronger than the Dickens. So it works great for doing this. Even on the other loom, that's what I connect with, is this, these Texolve things. The heddles are also made out of Texolve, but they're not, they're not fashioned with the same kind of loops in them like this. Um, maybe someday I'll do a different video on that. But I wanted you to see how this Texolve is used for connections. And now one final little bit. Remember I mentioned those screws. Well there's that screw and you can see how the Texalve is over that screw. And each of the Texalve cords, they're right here. So when I pull on shaft one you can see that that pulls it up right there. Let's follow shaft one all the way across the loom. Bingo, there's another screw with Texolve on it. And again, I can pull the lever and that just lifts it up because it's pulling that string. And remember, that's really one string that, go, that starts here, goes up behind the loom to there, it's going all the way across to there, oops, to this one, being pulled up, looped over this, and back down through the hole to shaft one on this side. And there's the whole process. It's pretty simple. So there you've seen the lever process on this particular loom. Like I said, you, they work in multiples. So, a little bit more about weaving on a table loom. And um, I guess that's about it for this video. It's pretty short. If you like my videos and you're not a subscriber, I would appreciate if you'd subscribe. If you are a subscriber, thanks a lot for uh, being there and watching. Uh, I enjoy seeing people's comments, so if you if you like making a comment, I'll be glad to read it and try and even respond to it. Again, thanks a million. Bye-bye.